is a hope welcome. Um, we love Jared Butler. So, <laughs> so this is what we call our Lacey Hallway. Um, and so we just want to, we kind of featured it in here right here. Um, Corporal McCarthy uh, was from St. John's. Um, and he went over and served in, if you want to get this picture here. Here in this top picture, you can see um, him with some some little kids there, and he kind of had this uh, view that the war wasn't going to be changed or stopped with guns. Um, it was through kindness and hope and changing the lives of the young people. And so that really embodies everything that we're about here. And so this is a kind of our honor to be involved in him there. And through his foundation, um, we've actually received some funding for our arts program uh, as well. So there's some, some empty space here as we continue down the hallway. Uh, for kids to fill up their own legacies. Um, here we have, let everyone know that comes in here that we are um, a Kids at Hope centered um, place and that all kids really are capable of success, no exceptions. So, this is kind of the main area. This is the main area. Uh, we're just going to kind of go room by room and kind of give you guys an explanation of what it is that we do here um, and let you see. The, the changes that have been made. So we're going to start right in here. This is our art room. Uh, you can see that there's some, some pieces that are in progress, some on the wall. Uh, I teach art classes here for kids that are interested um, and just help them to find a healthy way to express themselves. Um, we've had kids enter into the county fair and win ribbons, and so it's been, it's been really cool to have this as an option for them. So as we continue on here, uh, this is our education room. Uh, we have a set aside study hours uh, during the week for kids to come in and do their homework. A lot of these kids uh, are set up rural and poor. Um, they don't have Wi-Fi at home, and so they can come in here and use these setups that we have in here uh, to get their homework done. Uh, we try and tutor them if we can um, and give them some great opportunities. So this is. Right after school is usually pretty busy with kids doing homework. Um, but we also see here, uh, we have a 13 foot projector on this far wall uh, that kids will uh, come in and watch movies. We do movie marathons, or they'll even just uh, turn on YouTube and kind of jam out. Um, this is kind of our, our wall. You can see the kids at home uh, time machine sticker there that kind of just illustrates through these college banners and uh, banners for the military, that they can go places and they don't have to be restricted to the small town life. They don't have to stay here. Um, they can go and achieve great things. One of the things that help them do that that we've set up is this in here is our state of the art um, recording studio. So we had um, a professional come in and help us set this up um, acoustically. We've got a great setup here, and we have kids that come in and use it that are really talented and coming from such a small place. We never have these kind of opportunities otherwise. Um, and I think Victor and Paul, after we're done with the tour, are going to even play you a clip of one of our girls and what kind of she produced through here. Um, that is really kind of a unique opportunity the kids um, don't have otherwise here. So. <clears throat> This is what we call our game or meeting room. Uh, there's all four things here on the wall uh, for kids to play with. Um, people come in here and hang out. Um, but we have lots of meetings that happen in here too, club meetings or group homework projects. Uh, this is where our academic team uh, chose to come and practice. Um, they did really well at state. So it's, it's just kind of a unique little room. Um, this used to be one of the cells that they can just come in and hang out. And up here on the wall, Kind of tricky key for you guys. We put up our treasure hunters pledge. So, um, and this is what we believe. And all of our our staff here are treasure hunters, um, and this is what we really try to do is and help these kids believe that they really are capable of success. So here's where you get a, a really kind of the first good look at our main area. Um, as we walk through. Uh, ping pong pool, uh, 
we do lots of um, tournaments, we give out prizes um, for kids as they play, and we have some kids that will smoke any of you in pool. <laughs> they, uh, they're good. We have a rating champ. He's, he, uh, he's won four out of our five tournaments, and he's, he's, the, he's always the one to beat. So it's some good, healthy competition for him in here. So it, it's a good time. Uh, here is our, our music room, is what we call it. We've kind of got a, a wide array of, of instruments and capabilities for these kids to come in and, and use. Um, but the coolest thing that really happens in here is, is once a week, our Justice of the Peace um, comes in here and gives free guitar lessons to these kids. And he's been able to take kids with no background, no history, no skill with the guitar to teaching them. And now they go and they play on stage with him in his band um, and some of the concerts that he does. So it's a really unique experience for these kids that they're not getting, wouldn't have this opportunity uh, otherwise. And it also kind of promotes a healthy relationship with these kids um, in our, our justice groups. So it's, it's a really cool to come in here and see. He often brings in some of his own equipment too, and they just have big jam sessions in here. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Hey, JB, we got to cut away. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks. Bye. Bye.